record. Okay. Mm. Right. Mm. Jean. Well, hello. I'm Terre Hikoskinen with Big R from Finland, and I'm doing a scrapbook layout for you today. Um, thank you, Karen and Rika, for asking me to do this. This is quite exciting because my English is very Finnish, which is bad. But don't you worry about it if I don't. Uh, can, if I can't say something, I ask Rika to say it because she's a professional. Anyway, let's start. I turned the camera now away. Nice that you see my boobs. I, I did have my shirt on though. Let's see. Now, all good. So, this is a very simple layout. Uh, I didn't use any wet mediums here, but it's still mixed media, right? Well, at least I think so. So I'm taking this one there. And here's another picture. I thought that this would be nice um, in album to open. And here's one and here's another one. Yay! So I'm using 13 Arts papers and uh, mists from 13 Arts. And well, let's just start. Uh, I usually start with pencil. Some pan pastels are already here. Just doing a few circles where I'm going to set my picture. This is like my seven-year-old would do, but she's a little better than me. Okay, that's it. That was the easy part. Then, oh shit. I just <laughs> saw that I took brown ink. That is not something I want. So, let's wait a minute. My dear husband is going to get my uh, black ink upstairs. If he don't find it, I will go and get it. But here's a 13 odds. <laughs> don't you laugh there, Karen. <laughs> I'm not professional. I, I hear his steps. Yay! He found the right one. Thank you. Archival ink in black. So, this is a stencil from 13 Arts. It's called Tattered Crit, if I can pronounce it right. Um, it's a new line. If I remember right, it was in this mental vacation line. But it doesn't matter. It's the my favorite stencil and I'm just inking through it. If you ever wonder how to get these black inks off the stencil, try to use a um, nail polish remover. It works. Just here and there some black details, straight lines, like like on my own works. Here. A little more there. Something. One line. Yes. Ooh. Like that. Okay. Karen asked me how long it will take to make this layout. If I wouldn't uh, speak anything, I think like 10 minutes would be enough. But now that I'm talking, it will take a few minutes more. Another stencil work. And now I'm using pan pastels. If you don't know pan pastels, they are uh, like powder. 
um, like what you put your cheeks, blush, uh, all color, and you need always use some kind of fixative with them. So uh, here's Primas Finabair uh, stencil, and on the top of it, I will use uh, 30 knots circle stencil to get even circle. I'm mixing these two colors. Pan pastels are easy to mix. You can uh, mix them together and erase them with a regular, regular eraser. I will show you later. But let's do this. Just a little color and then another color. And doesn't matter if I got some blue on the purple one or what's another. So it's there. Nice even circle. Who's the lady? The lady is Terhi Koskinen with R. I'm doing the same again because I want uh, uh, one circle here and smaller uh, on the top and one here down below might be the right word. So a little blue, then the purple, blah, 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 don't know the word, but you'll see it. And another one here. I love band pastels. They can be used on anything, on paper or gesso works or on anything. So now we need to use some kind of fixative, like I said. Um, hello, Ansku, nice to see you. Um, uh, 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 uh. You should use a real fixative, but because I'm poor little Finnish artist or doing everything in the easy way. I'm using hairspray, but I can't re recommend this to anyone because you never know what this includes. So just a little layer here to adhere it. Nice smell. <laughs> it's nice to open an album and smell it like a hairspray, but I don't care. I need to use some baby wipe to... I have these pan pastels all over my hands if I... I wouldn't... Well, all my papers are soon in, in pan pastels. But what I told you about erasing, I can show here. As you see, here's a pan pastel work. But if I use an eraser... Well, I use, uh, used already fixative, it won't take off very good, but it can be erased, which is nice. So, okay, maybe I will look at the chat <laughs> at all, because if I see a word there and another here, I never know what you're talking about. So, uh, these patterned papers are from 13 Arts too. These are Mental Vacation line. A uh, new line was uh, revealed early spring, was it March or something? I'm doing some scraps. I usually use scraps, but now that I don't have any scraps, I need to do them. So, 
this is not mental vacation, this is all is love collection. I think all is love. Uh, this uh, black star paper is a starlight collection by Olga Helkwain. I don't know how to say that last name right, but it's maybe Olga Helkwain. Just a couple more cutting and pasting and cutting and pasting. Maybe like this. I'm just doing some random uh, sized scraps. So you will see why. I'm taking a little measure of this picture is just about that long. By the way, next week we have 13 arts owner Ada, who's probably there. Hey Ada, Ida, how do you say that? I don't know, but I love your work and I'm quite excited to see you doing your magic next week. So, now we are doing some layering. Where's my pieces? Uh, I'm starting with this photo just to see. It's there. Let's take it down. Some purple there. Um, this is also from 13 Arts, this paper. This is a color basic collection. Uh, I did this with a big shot, but I don't own one. So I borrowed one from one of my friends. Let's see, it would be nice there. Yeah. Then some, some black. We need always something black. Something purple there. I need to stand up a little to see better. This might go nicely here. I'm just keeping these in my hand um, and making a random layers. It's like something very serious, but it's not. I work in engineering office. So I'm used to do straight lines and that's why it's so strict to have straight lines. Anyway, um, here's some papers and here is a stapler, however you pronounce that. And I'm pressing it to keep it all together. Another one here. These staplers are actually nice in placement too. Let's see if we need more. Put it in nice here. Hmm. Maybe one there. Maybe one there. No. Yes. No. Yes. That's good. I will stick that there. Nice. Easy. Neat how she designs in her hand like that. I think so too. It's easy. It's it's much more easy than put it here because once you get it uh, right, you can still keep it in your hand and put it together. But if it's all here like this, then I would how. 
the hell would I be doing? <laughs> no, sorry. No bad words, no. So, we need to stick that down. I'm using double-sided tape, but of course you can use whatever you like, like glue or, or well, easier double-sided tape. This is not the easiest one to use by, with all this cutting and pasting, but this is very sticky. It, it keeps this for years and years. So I'm taking these off like this. And before I put it here, I need to add some sewing thread. Yay! Purple one! Uh, the secret of this thread is that you shouldn't touch it too much. Just leave it there. Like that. It gives a nice texture and nice little detail. Uh, this was a light purple or lila. How do you say it? I love it already. <laughs> oh, yeah. I do, hang on there, Ida. You will see my face later. So I'm adding adding some uh, white thread here too. It wasn't on the first one, but I think this white one will do some magic more. And because I have so much this thread here, I want to make sure this really stick stick these uh, paper layers here. So. I'm adding some glue here, just some, like that. Oh my, do you know what? I forgot my stamping. Let's move this. This is how nervous I am. I forgot things. So, <laughs> I'm lucky I didn't glue that down. Well, back to ink. Same black ink and stamps from Create a Smile, which is um, a little manufacturer from, from German. Uh, I, I, I would like to <laughs> see all that chat later. Because you might have some fun there while I'm forgetting. Uh, can't speak and forgot everything. And well, that's me. This is me. I'm Terhi. Hello, a little blondie. But don't mind. Uh, I'm using birthday word. Uh, by the way, this was 29 again named stamp set. Uh, I'm using the birthday word yeah, because it was my daughter's birthday. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Just randomly some words here and there. It doesn't matter that the words don't show completely because you see a few letters here, some there, some there, and you get the point. And you uh, kind of need to watch the layout some time to get the word. I love stamping. I could do this whole day. I know, quite simple and easy thing to do, but Oh, I love this. So, a little more. Can't stop it. Nice little trick. Turn to stamp over and do it upside down. Yay! All the right layers are in the same place. 
there, there is this um, pencil work, stencil work, another stencil work, and stamping. And uh, soon we will have those paper layers all together in the same place. Don't mind if you hear some uh, wing. Because, hey, Joey! Yay! Uh, my chair is a bit old and it keeps sounding weird. Okay, now the paper layers here. If I now forget something, then it's like that. Yay! Here. Is it good now? So you see Y here and B here and little birthday and birthday here. It's nice like that. What else did I forgot? Maybe nothing. Uh, I think it needs some blue paper. Just a tiny piece. This is very, very useful for me to stick something once I already glued something down. Yeah, just that tiny little piece. Well, wait, maybe one more. Now it needs black. Yeah. More glue. More paper, more glue. That's all what this crafting is about. Gluing and paper. So this is going to be here. Or here. Maybe here. Or here. Tough decision. Okay. Then... Actually I can put some purple underneath it. This would be nice. This would be really nice. Yeah, so I'm using 3D foams. Do I pronounce it right? Maybe. To give some dimension. I don't like totally flat layouts, even though I don't like um, too heavy layouts, because I don't know how to storage them. So this one goes here. Yeah, then we are cutting some piece out. Do you want to hear a secret? My husband is sitting right next to me and looking the chat for me and um, looking my phone for me if, if someone is texting me or something. This is just how lovely he is. He supports her, his wife completely and totally and 100%. Well, thank you, Mitra. Uh, it's good there, right? Yeah? So, uh, I used again 3D foams and um, another layer of thread to add more and more details. I love details. I can't stop doing little details, details here and there. Yeah. Taking these off. And put it here. Wonderful! So, we have the title here. It's pretty. It's from Heidi Swap. How do you say it? Heidi Swap. Hi, Camilla. Um, and 
I have here some nice words. Maybe this pink one would be nice here. Hugs and kisses. Although this a mother's love would be perfect for this, but if I put black, well, it's not bad. Maybe I take the black one. I also have some roses. I don't remember from where, but some roses. Thank you, Rika, for your encouragement. It is wonderful. I know because I did it. No, that was a joke. Uh, I'm wondering if I put it there. Maybe next to the title. Pretty and a mother's love. Mm. And something metallic. I have some leaves. Maybe like this. But it needs something pink or purple. And another paper slice. Yeah. Just to make sure there's not only black. I feel like I'm forgetting something again, but <clears throat> if I did, then I did. Hi, Kathy. Nice to see that someone is learning so much because I, I was a bit afraid to choose this so easy and simple layout but it's nice to hear that someone is learning something so now I'm gluing this title actually I will do these first and put it here I have no idea where I got that metallic leaf leaf or leave it's not leaving it's leaf right but it's pretty and it gives a nice um, sheen shininess shininess square background stencil I know they are the best uh, things like circle stencils and uh, square stencils are so easy and versatile to use because you can use them so so many ways. So uh, this glue looks white now, but once it's dry, it's completely clear. I will photograph this layout later and block it. Uh, I used Tatteret, if you, Joey, if you meant this one, this is Tatteret Crit. It's from 13 Arts. I also use these circle, circle ones and Prima Stensi. Okay, moving forward. I'm covering the picture with some slice of paper and now it's the best part I need some mists these lovely mists are from 13 hours uh, I'm starting with pastel pink all available in 13 hours store just flicking some drops Again, the so, same place, on sem, same layers, here and there. This is grey, let's put some grey. I know my girls are adorable. They are sleeping now, luckily. <laughs> they are adorable, but they are very, very loud, noisy. What's the word? There's no silent moment once they are wake up, but I think that's um, 
quite normal when you have four, year, four years old and seven years old. Uh, here's a pearl, a pearl violet. And what we need? We need black. Black is the last one. Just here and there. Another great detail is uh, once I put that thread here and now misting on top of it, uh, this thread gets a new color. It's nice. I love it. And now we take this off. And what we need now is some... Where is it? Pearls, pearls. Haha. -ha. These are from Scrapberries. Can I? Um, what's the word? Joy a little. I got myself into Scrapberries design team, which is wonderful thing. But now we are talking about this layout and not me. Uh, these are also available in 13 Arts Store. There he do another one. I will! I will do another one in July. Although I don't know if I'm doing a layout or something else. Any ideas? I would love to hear. Uh. <laughs> nice to see it. Jasmine and Karen are also talking about Scrapberries because they are also in that same design team and I'm so glad to work with them. Also, ah, now I remembered one other thing. Hi Nupur! Uh, congratulations Rika for uh, getting to Prima's design team. I'm so glad for you and I will hug you almost to death when I see you and next time. It was a big, big dream for you and it came true. Yay! I'm clapping my hands together. Congratulations. Okay. Uh, the final touches are with black pen. Ooh. I have some here, which is the smallest. This is from Faber Castell. Hmm? How do you say it? I don't know. Hello, Nupur, I love you too. Uh, I will just draw these pearls around to keep. Um, like to continuing this uh, inking, these straight lines, it kind of continues it and gives a great detail. Joey, when can we see you? I hope soon. You should come to Finland. Well, all of you should come to Finland sometime soon. Uh, I would like to invite you all here at my home, although my home is not that big, but it would be so nice, so nice to see you all. Okay, it takes 34 minutes to make this layout. It's now completed. And here's the first one. It's much more pink, but I don't mind. And here's another one. Boat crate. Haha. Ha. Here and here. A mother's love. This might need a little touch of this is again pastel pink. Just few 
crops. Nupur, if you are coming to Poland in October, it would be great. We are having a mixed media party in Poland in October, and I would like to welcome you all there. A little advertisement now, but don't mind. So here they are. And now I'm turning the camera off. Is my hair okay? Maybe, maybe it isn't. Da -da -ra -da 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 -da. There's our ceiling and hello lovelies. Oh my god, this one. Maybe it sticks. Well, anyway, I need to keep this camera in my hand right now because it will drop off if I let it go. Thank you all for being here with me today and I will come back on July was it um twenty second or no today is twenty second. Anyway, in July and next week we will have a uh, Ada Domicie which I have no idea how to pronounce your name right but Ada from Thirteen Arts aka Ayeda will do something magical, as she always does. And again, thank you, Karen, and thank you, Rika, for asking me to do this. And I will gladly do this again with another layout and another techniques and less speak and more crafting or something. Haha. -ha. Thank you all. Mwah. Good night. Stop recording.